Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's our lens combination number four. It looks exactly the same as lens combination number three. However, I put the object in a slightly different location. I now put the object 50 centimeters away from the first lens. And just like before, using ray diagrams, we can find out where the image location is of the first lens by drawing, drawing a horizontal ray until we hit the converging lens the ray will bend to the focal point on the other side and continue on like this. This is ray number one. Ray number two is found by drawing a ray from the object to the, whoop, that's not quite the correct direction. Let's try that again. Okay, through the focal point on the front side until we hit the lens, the ray will bend, continue on to the right horizontally where the two meet right there is where the first image is formed. So this is image one. To find the location of image 1, we're going to use our standard equation now, where S1 prime equals S1 F1 divided by S1 minus F1. And so S1 is now 50 centimeters. F1 is a 20 centimeter lens, so we call that 20 centimeters divided by 50 minus 20. So this is equal to 1,000 divided by 30. So this is equal to 33.3 centimeters and that is the distance to the first image, S1 prime. Is it a real image? It certainly is because it's a positive image distance, so we know that it's real. To find the magnification, oop, there we go, L. To find the magnification, M1, it's equal to minus S1 prime over S1, which is equal to a minus 33.3 centimeters, divided by S1, which is 50 centimeters, which is equal to a minus 0.67 which means that it's inverted because it's a negative number and it's about two-thirds the size of the original object. So we know that this one is an inverted image. Okay, and that looks just like what we have been drawing here. Now the distance is 33.3 centimeters past the first lens. That's this distance right here. So we can say that S1 prime equals a positive 33.3 centimeters, which means that the distance from image one to the second lens is that number minus 10 centimeters or 23.3 centimeters. Now remember that the image of the first lens now becomes the object of the second lens, so this is equal to object two, which means this is the object distance, 23.3 centimeters, but since the object is to the right of the lens, behind the lens, it's a negative object distance, so S2 is equal to minus 23.3 centimeters. And now we're ready to try and find the second image cost now by the second lens. So we have S2 prime is equal to S2 F2 divided by S2 minus F2. And so it's equal to S2, which is a minus 23.3 multiplied times an F2. And in this case, since the diverging lens it has a negative focal length of minus 30, divided by S2, which is minus 23.3, minus a minus 30. And so what does that equal to? Let's see here, 23.3 times 30, and divide that by, uh, looks like a positive 6.7. Divided by 6.7 equals, and we get 104 centimeters. And so that's a positive divided by positive, or 104 centimeters. A positive 104 centimeters, which means the second image is 104 centimeters past the second lens. Since it's a positive number, it's got to be a real image, so we know that it's real. The magnification of the second lens, M2, is equal to minus a S2 prime over S2. And so it's a minus 104 divided by S2, which was a negative 23.3. And so divide that by 23.3, and we get plus 4.5, 4.5, a plus 4.5. Now, the first inclination is to say, oh, that means it's a upright image, but no, it's not. Since the object was already inverted, since the object was, of course, the image of the first lens, that means that the second image is in the same direction as the second object, and so therefore that image will also be inverted, but it will be four and a half times the size of the second object, which was, of course, the image of the first one. So that means that this will continue to some extent, and so way back here somewhere, we have a second image, 
which is much, much larger than the first image, which then represents the object of the second lens, and it's also inverted. We can show that that's the case by simply finding the total magnification, M total, which is simply the product of the two magnifications, M1 and M2, since M1 was a minus 0 0.67, and M2 was a positive 4.5. So 4.5 times uh, 2 divided by 3, uh, that would be about 3. So that's equal to a minus 3. So that means that the final size of the final image, image 2, was 3 times the size of the original object. And since it's negative, that means the image direction, it's upside down or inverted relative to the original object. And that's how you do a combination like this, where you have both a converging lens and a diverging lens.